The following is a production of TV2, Kent State's student-run television station. For more information, log on to our website, tv2.kent.edu. Stay tuned to TV2 News for your only source for live, continuing, in-depth team coverage of the Trimble Trial. Justin? Thank you, Ty. Only 13% of low-income Ohioans have applied for next year's Medicare drug benefits. Approved applicants will be eligible for big price breaks on prescription drugs. The Social Security Administration cites that more than 18 million applicants were sent out. A little more than 3 million have been returned, including 115,000 from Information on showtimes and ticket prices, call 330-672-0104. Wow. For tonight, and basically the rest of the week, temperature is looking in the mid-30s. And by the end of the week, though, sus Conditions are going to clear out. High pressure moves in and looking nice for the weekend. Thanks, Becky. Well, that's all the time we have here at TV2 News. I was like, wow, wow. Like, I seriously walked to the school like, god damn, like, he's hot. Oh, he was hot. And I mean, he had like sweats on and a sweatshirt, and I was like, wow. Oh, yeah, but he looked good. Quit messing, it looks good. Um, can you focus on me for a second, hon? It's a unique store, and it's located in downtown Kent. Matter of fact, it's this kind of store that the city manager, Dave Reller, says, oh, I almost fell. <laughs> yeah, don't want to fall. So, tomorrow, hour by hour, let's break it down. 47 degrees and mostly cloudy skies. For your next five days, um, let's talk about it. A uh, high of 50... Well, no, 47 for tomorrow, and the weekend's going to be pretty mild with a high of 63 on Sunday with sunny skies. So that's pretty good. And then Halloween, I don't know. It's going to be a guess. Welcome back to TV2 News. Holes in the adoption system of Ohio have, have been found and may be sending children to overcrowded or abusive homes. A report submitted yesterday by the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services <clears throat> excuse me, says that Ohio's system cannot protect children from going to homes with too many children, unsafe conditions, or parents who have accused child abusers. Yes. Three, two, one. Commercialize. Sorry. Fuck. That was not the word. Sorry. Three, two, one. All right. Welcome back, sports fans. I'm Matt Miller with your TV2 Sports Report. It's a sad day in the world of Kent State track and field. I. All right, one more time. The commencement office held a graduation fair to prepare the graduating seniors for their big day. Look at it. Look at it, okay. Yeah. Look at it. And then, you know, be like, give me some tips on how not, like, you just... Future. That's right, John Paul, and we'd like to give a special thanks to the Puffer Belly Restaurant for allowing us to connect you, the Portage County viewer, to Portage County's history by providing us with this wonderful historic atmosphere. I when I put the dollar in? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's just roll and I'll just keep going. Okay. It's on. Oh, it is. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll indulge me for a moment. <clears throat> what a feeling. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I promise never to assault your ears like that again. The money will run out in... <laughs> Some came to find out the fate of the university when Dr. Cartwright's presidency is over. I don't like that one. I said, what's it's, to come? And it's kind of like you have an attitude. Um, isn't busy running for election. You can... Uh, crap. Okay. In The efforts by both Kent's, the efforts by, the efforts by both administration and the student body to tone down school violence and to promote school safety have certainly gotten the public's attention at a preliminary hearing. To help out. When the leaves fall and the temperatures change, some people do what they can to try and stay warm. And some people in Portage County are doing their best, and there's a really loud truck just driving by. 
You people suck at life. Time is ticking away in the CIA leak investigation and the grand jury. Three, two, I don't know what I'm saying. Three, two, one. It's not a car wash and this isn't a bake sale. This high school's choirs are raising money a different way. You'll want to stay tuned. That's right. Oh, uh, shit. Shot. Shoot. <laughs> a bill was passed. Yes, welcome back to TV2 News. Three. Stand up 13. This is really pathetic. My daughter's all done. The only ones. Three, two, one. Whitehall Terrace residents aren't the only ones seeing this increase in burglaries. Burglaries. Two, one. Happy Day School in Portage County helps kids with disabilities lead a normal life. Without the passage of Issue 7, school may be forced to cut programs that specialize in... Uh, one more time. This is it right here. Specialized to the kids' needs. That are specialized to the kids' needs. Happy Day School in Portage County. <laughs> Fuck. Recently, the Kent City Schools approved a levy campaign for the fall of 2005. I this is pathetic. I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, three, two. Now, while it isn't certain exactly when Chief Williams will be leaving, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hi. Mine, no. No, you're good. When the student soldiers return from deployment, they come to the university and discover they might. Three, two, one. When, three, two, one. They actually owe the university money. Now the 1484th unit up in uh, Akron. Damn it. Three, two. We're live in Crestline. Where the fuck are we? Juggling between work, fuck. <laughs> Good. A new facility is being built behind the Kent golf course so members of the golf team can hit balls year round. William Anderson has his commitments to his family and his band. Okay, three, two, one. William Anderson is running. Okay. William Anderson has his commitments to his band and his family, but he's hoping they had one. Three, two, one. William, fuck, that was good. Damn it. Okay, three, two, one. As soon as it is signed by Governor Taft. And with the November election just weeks away... But I mean, it's great to be back. Justin, you spent the last two weeks drunk in the gutter when we were doing the show, right? I mean, where uh, were you been? I mean, I, I just missed you guys so much. I, I miss J. Kurt. Oh, I God. miss P.T. I, I miss Lindsay, especially Mike All right, Justin, all right, listen, you need to get your life together, man. But I want to thank everyone for tuning in. You can keep tuning in every Tuesday at 8.30. I'm Nick Stroud, and for Justin Pooter... We're not going to go quite yet, because we got to show you guys this. What do we... Well, the weather doesn't always stick to the calendar, so... This Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, this crazy weather, you never know. There'll probably be, hopefully not, but there could be a few more. Yep. And what's, what's the hurricane called? Epsilon? Epsilon. That's what Tina was telling us before the show started tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, it keeps changing. It, you know, this weather has just been crazy. Tina's here now to tell us if it's going to be <laughs> continuing to be crazy or not. Tina? <laughs> so, it's all, you know, just a little tip. It's always good to have extra gloves and scarves and hats and blankets in your car, oh, really. Yeah. And ice scrapers. Remember last week I didn't have Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Pasta Shell, he always makes sure I have enough. It's a car kit. Little TV car kit. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the time we have here at TV2 News. Be sure to join us for our next full broadcast tomorrow night at 6.30, 5.30 for those of you on campus. And don't forget to visit our website at tv 2ken <laughs> Edu. The weather lady is just over here laughing. She's in stitches. Anyways, uh, you can catch all the newscasts uh, from the previous semester. I'm Carol Pasta. And I'm Shannon Peluso. TV2 News. We're small enough to care. But big enough to keep you aware. Have a great night.
For more information, log on to our website, pv2.kent.edu.